So one of the things that's been on my heart is uh, the sex trafficking and the pedophilia and all of those things that have been coming into the light and being disclosed finally. Uh, and I did want to take an opportunity to ask Prime Creator about it to see if there's any information that uh, wanted to come through about that. So I'm just going to start off by asking about the sex trafficking and the pedophilia rings and if there's anything that Prime Creator wants to share with us about that. Yes, dear ones, many, many things are now coming into the foreground that were once hidden in the background. As with all types of disclosure, as we have discussed, it is an orchestrated type of disclosure, meaning that the information is slowly being given into the mainstream media and into the collective awareness so as not to shock the collective awareness. What has been coming out in the past few weeks, especially, has been priming the collective to receive this type of intense information. And when I say intense information, what I am meaning is the information about sex trafficking, the pedophilia rings. Most of what you are hearing is true. Yes, there is always some misinformation and disinformation. But most of what you are hearing regarding the sex trafficking is true. Children are being gathered from underground tunnels and holding containers, I will say, holding areas. Some of these children are... extremely malnourished, all are traumatized. Some of these children have passed because they could not contain life within their bodies. But these children are being rescued. And it's just, this channel is asking, why are we not seeing pictures or seeing proof of this. The public is not ready for this type of proof yet, dear ones. To show pictures of what is occurring would be extremely distressing and would not help the cause at this time. It is not a fair comparison, but when you think of those pictures of animals that are malnourished that have been circulated on your social media and how many people are distressed by this and cannot view these pictures. If you can imagine, dear ones, taking the leap into viewing pictures like this of humans, of human children, it would be a hundred times worse. <laughs> Dear ones, and so this level of disclosure may or may not occur in the sense of seeing pictures, but more proof will be forthcoming that this is indeed occurring, that children are being rescued. Many, many arrests have been made. Many of these are arrests are names you do not know. Some of them you do know. This channel is asking about Hollywood. What about people in Hollywood? Are they arrested? Will they be arrested? You may have noticed, dear ones, that many 
things in Hollywood have been quieter. This is because many actors, many famous people have been put on notice. A few have been arrested. Many are on house arrest. Many more will be arrested as proof is brought forth of their involvement and interaction. Please understand, dear ones, that this is a very intense subject. This is the darkest of the dark. This is the deepest of the deepest shadow. And so the very fact that the mainstream media is talking about this more, the fact that this is being censored on your social media, that this is being spread around your social media, this is all showing you that the darkest of the dark now is coming into the light. And this is very good news, even while it may not be easy to see, it is very good that these subjects are being illuminated, that these travesties are coming into the light because it is only when they are fully acknowledged that the healing can begin, that the shift can begin. Also what is occurring is more and more sex trafficking victims are gaining courage to come forth. You will see more of this in the coming months. You will see more victims coming forward to share their stories, to expose those who have harmed them. What I would ask of you, dear ones, is to send these precious beings your love. Offer them to be surrounded in light. Send them healing energies so that they can gain enough feeling of safety to be able to come forward and share. There is a momentum that will be building around this. And the more that come forward to share, more will follow. And so these precious few that are leading the way need your prayers, they need your love, they need your support, dear ones. If you know someone personally who has been a victim of these sex crimes, do whatever you can, dear ones, to lift them up, to support them. Provide them with practical support if you can. Find pro bono lawyers for them if you can. Do whatever you can to assist and support so that they have the courage, the feelings of safety, and the practical support needed to come forward. This is very important, dear ones. Um, so who, who are doing the arresting? Is it the FBI or is it some other group uh, geared to this type of thing? It is mostly not the FBI arresting. It is special military factions that are specially equipped to deal with this type of situation. It is not something that you have heard much about. These, this group has in many ways been functioning underground or in ways that are not public. The FBI is still not fully supporting these efforts, although this is shifting because there has been a tremendous amount of pressure put on the FBI to support these efforts of arrests and freeing the children. But it is, there is much division within the, FD, within the FBI. There are some people serving the light and many serving the shadow. And so it has taken great effort to try to get them on board. But there are special military factions that 
are well equipped to deal with this issue especially. They have special training in this. How to deal with the children, how to deal with the perpetrators. During the pandemic, uh, there was a ship called, oh, I forget the name of the ship. I think it was called Hope. It was a white ship with a red uh, cross, like a the red cross. And it came to assist, supposedly on the news, it said that the, the ship was there to add hospital beds. Um, but the, the news that we were getting in the internet was that it was there to put children in that they rescued underneath Central Park uh, for the trafficking. Was that indeed so, or was it just? Yes, um, everyone. This was a galactic sanctioned activity to assist the children. It is not the only one. There were others around the globe. You simply do not hear about these things in your mainstream news. Partially because it is a delicate issue that does need some level of protection or secrecy to protect these rescue missions. You will be hearing more about this later in the coming years, dear one. As uh, always in the last few years and so, uh, reported earthquakes, what they say, uh, they recover underground military bases. Maybe something with the children there too. Uh, the last couple of days, when those big explosions happened in Beirut, had that something to do with underground bases or with the children too, or was it something totally different? This was not necessarily a white hat mission, but the white hats have used this opportunity to do some cleanup work. Yes, to do with children a little bit, but mostly to clean up bases with weapons of mass destruction to <laughs> to excuse me to remove these harmful weapons from your planet so that they cannot hurt more people. And yes, people were affected in these explosions, but it could have been much worse, dear ones. So why, while we are not so pleased that people were harmed in these actions, great measures were taken to turn it around for something positive. And there has been a significant reduction in weaponry on your planet Earth. And this includes weapons that used galactic technology and interacted with galactic technology in conjunction with your planetary technology for weaponry. This is significant because some of your weapons had the ability to be activated using galactic weapon technology. And this has largely been reduced because of these explosions because of these cleanup efforts that followed. It is not likely that you will see this reported on any mainstream media news, these cleanup efforts. Or this information is not known by many. This is not common knowledge in most circles. Yes, your president is very aware of it. 
but it does not extend much beyond this except for those in the cabal that have been using these technologies or working to create these technologies. You said that most of the information is true that we're hearing on the internet. So who is giving us the information? Are they the victims escaping or the military people themselves? Who's, who's leaking this information? Most of this information is coming from military intelligence. Some of this, some of this information is coming from the victims. Yes, but the military intelligence knows most of this anyway, so they do not need the information from the victims. A bit of this information is coming from remote viewing, but the, these remote viewers are also part of this military circuit that is monitoring and doing this cleanup work. This, this topic of disclosure is not just about sex trafficking. It is, as you know, many things coming to the light. And so this will continue to happen over the next several months and even years as the public is ready to receive the information. The collective energy is awakening. The collective energy is being primed to receive this information. Ms. Chano is asking if it will happen by November when the elections occur. Dear ones, it is not likely that all will be disclosed by then. This only gives three months of time and it is possible that the collective will awaken to the degree that they will be ready to receive the information by then, but it is not probable. And we are saying this simply by gauging what has, the trajectory of how it has happened so far. I will say, however, dear ones, that there is an exponential awakening now. The, the momentum has gained such speed that it is spreading throughout the collective energy very quickly. And so it is not wise to give a specific timeline about this because anything can happen now within the collective energy. Yes, many are still asleep, many are still in fear, but subconsciously, even those that are holding on to great fear, subconsciously there are energies coming into their field that are stimulating and triggering awakening codes. And so it is very possible that Suddenly, before you know it, there will be a great enough degree of awakening that all can be seen in the light by everyone. And I wish to thank you also, dear ones, for those of you who are holding the light for this information. I understand it is not easy and that you are ridicule ridiculed at times and perhaps even called names and shamed and blamed for how you are speaking out. And so I wish to thank you, dear ones, for your courage. And I will issue another invitation to those of you who wish to be a voice for disclosure. Even if only one person begins to see what is happening because of your voice, this is significant, dear ones. For those of you who do say yes to this and who choose to be a voice of disclosure, I give you a caution that it is not wise to force anyone to listen to you or to become forceful or dogmatic in how you share, but to bring much compassion 
with your sharing. So as you share disclosure information, do it in a way that is invitational rather than egotistical. Do it in a way that brings much compassion. And in this way, your message will be more easily received. Again, I thank you, dear ones, for holding the light, for embodying the light. There is a tremendous amount of light pouring on your planet, more now than ever before. This will continue, as I have said before. And so the best thing you can do is to remain grounded, centered, stay with your energy, do not move into fear, stay with love. I thank you, dear ones. I thank you. Wow. Some of that was a bit intense. Uh, so, yeah, thank you guys for tuning into this video. And I would just invite you to uh, do something grounding now, do something nurturing and nourishing. And just get back with your own energy and essence. If you took on any of that you know, key energy that came through the message, uh, just slough that off and get back into the space with your energy and go out into nature, get nourished. All right, thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next week.